If you're one of those people who runs up the basement stairs the moment you turn the lights out, like me, brace yourself for the new horror movie, The Cellar. Alicia Cuthbert stars as a mom whose daughter mysteriously vanishes. Watch this. There's 10 steps to the bottom. Count each step, can you do that? One, two. You're doing great, Ellie. Keep counting. Three. Something happened in the cellar. What about this? It's definitely a representation for a dimension. There's symbols above all the doors. An ancient evil. And Alicia's with me now. Hi. Hi. So tell me about this. It was based on a short, right? That's been called one of the most unsettling short films ever. Is that what pulled you in? You hear that? You're like, sign me up. I want to be in that. Uh, yeah, actually, it's funny you said that because I ended up watching the the short first and then got to see this the um, the script for you know the full feature, and I just thought it was such a clever concept and an idea for a horror film. So I was really excited from the get go, but definitely the short film was so intriguing and um, so scary. So absolutely, it set the tone for a really great movie. For sure. What do you like uh, or love about the horror genre? You know what? It's funny because it, it, it's not so scary when you're filming them. It almost feels more like an action movie when you're doing a horror film because, you know, the energy's got to be high and there's a lot of, um, you know, adrenaline that goes into sort of getting through a lot of the moments in the movie. And But it also a lot of times has a really great storyline underneath it. So I, I like that about it. It sounds like a parent's worst nightmare. Yeah, the movie really, at the core of it, is about a mother who loses her daughter um, to this ancient evil, um, which she doesn't come to realize until later on in the film. So yeah, for parents at home, I think there's that, I mean, that's your, like you said, the worst nightmare, the worst case scenario. Um, so you really get to watch this mother's terror and battle to find out where her daughter is gone. Now, you guys filmed in Ireland back in 2020. You had to quarantine during a lot of this, right? Yeah, yeah. But it also gave me um, a great opportunity to work on the script and to really um, take our time in sort of developing backstory. It was actually a real luxury. <laughs> I actually really enjoyed that process quite a bit. Nice. How was it being in Ireland overall? Had you ever filmed there before? I had been on vacation one time to Dublin and I had a blast. This time when we were filming, it was during the height of the pandemic, so nothing was open. Um, I, so unfortunately, it was really just all about filming. I didn't even get to go to a pub, so which is probably an Irish crime of some kind. Uh -huh. But um, but yeah, no, it was lovely. I, Ireland is absolutely stunning, and if you haven't been and you can go, I would definitely recommend it. Looking ahead, you'll be in the movie Bandit with Mel Gibson and Josh Jumel. What's this all about? Actually, you know, I'm really excited for that to come out as well. Um, we don't have a release date yet, but the great thing about it is that it was a really a Canadian story. And as a Canadian, it just, it felt um, so great to be able to tell this, this tale of um, this bank robber um, in Canadian history, one of the, the most notorious bank robbers in Canadian history. So I'm really excited for people to see it. You're going to have PTSD now going into basements and, and banks, it sounds like. I know. I'm getting myself into a lot of trouble on film. I love it. I love it. Guys, The Cellar is in theaters and streaming on Shutter now. So be sure to check it out. Thanks so much, Alicia. Great to great to chat Thank with you. you.